Lynn here. Hope you're having an amazing day. Now guys, today I'm going to be potting on my San Pedro, my Trichoceros Pachanoi um, seedlings that I grew from seed last March in, would have been, yep, March 2016. And as you can see, they're desperate to be potted on. And they're going to be potting these on into individual, these little seed trays here. Um, until they get bigger, then pot them on into larger pots. And some of these are very overcrowded, very, very, very tiny, so I might put two or three in there. We'll see how we go, see what it looks like when I get them out, the, um, out of the um, little, uh, little uh, tray, I should say, that I sowed them in originally. And these are actually seeds from my own uh, cactus um, that I self-pollinated myself. Now, it's actually a cross between uh, pa Trichoceros patronoi and Trichoceros scopolicola. So the seeds are actually Trichoceros tinescopicola. So it's going to be interesting to see what they're, what they're like. Um, and obviously, if you haven't seen the video where, of this amazing Trichoceros, where these seeds have come from in flower, links up above to that video. And that is the same flower that actually cross-pollinated with the other one at the same time that these seeds have come from. So check out on how to um, pollinate um, Trichoceros flowers as well for seed, which is how I got seed here. And also, if you're not familiar with growing cacti from seed, links up above to a video I made on how to grow cacti from seed. It's a very easy, easy procedure. And this is just a procedure that I like to do, but um, there's many different ways. And um, that will give you a bit of an idea if you haven't grown from seed before. It's really easy, guys. So um, let's, get to, let's get potted on, shall we, guys? Now, guys, obviously I'm going to be, what I'm going to be doing first is I'm not going to show you the whole procedure because it could go on for ages and I don't want to bore you all. But basically, I've just loosened up the, um, these are sort of like old little cherry tomato um, trays that I've been using for seed trays. They're great for using for sowing seeds, guys. So um, obviously they're easy to squeeze out when it comes to potting on. Like that comes out like a little, little sandcastle. And um, what I'm going to be doing, I'll just move these away here so it gives us a lot of space is that the hardest thing obviously with seedlings because I've let these go sort of very very tight and I always sort of recommend when it comes to potting on seedlings I always prefer to keep them till the pot is sort of overcrowded but you can do it as long as they're big enough I would recommend they're at least that size I'll just get the camera close there so you can see that they're sort of like two to three centimeters um in height or width as well so they're big enough to pot on into their own little pots or in their own little uh, seed uh, trays and cells as I'm doing here and then what you want to do is gently loosen the um, gently loosen the root ball like that so in this case it's coming away easy um, I've lightly moistened the um, the soil I normally wouldn't recommend um, doing it when the soil's wet you're always best to pot on things when they're dry but in this case I'm using a very well draining mix and once I've potted them all up I'm going to be keeping them all dry for a good um, week or two before I um, before I start watering them again just to help prevent any, if any roots get damaged at all and be very careful as you see I'm very very careful with removing them then it just gives you show you the roots systems there it just gives chance for any roots to um, repair themselves and as I say this is always a great opportunity to search for um, pests and as, as you can see here there's mealy bug there so <laughs> this is I'm putting them aside and I'm going to clear them with I think it's mealy bug anyway I'm not quite sure does normally mealy bug goes pink or green when you squeeze them in this case it's just like white powder sometimes um, the fertilizers that are used in soil mixes are like white powder and it looks a bit sometimes like mealy bug as does perlite but uh, I'm just going to keep these aside just to be on the careful side see there it could just be like um, sometimes fertilizer but just to be on the safe side um, I'm going to go through with a little magnifying loop just to check there's no mealies on there and what I'm going to do now is obviously going to be breaking these up individually putting them all separately and putting them all onto here and I'll show you what they all look like when they've all been separated now guys that's them all and loads of them all separated now out the little seed trays and what I'm going to be doing is put them into some type of size order and um, the larger ones I'm going to be potting up into here the very very small ones such like this I probably put um, a couple of the small ones into one of the little seed trays together so show you here these are, are very very small still as they've sort of all grown at different sizes as that's quite large so um let's get going shall we guys now so sorting them out into um size order how's that one i'm going to start off with the big ones first the easy ones um because they're going to be easy to sort of pot on aren't they great guys and uh they're the ones obviously the most healthiest 
of the uh, of the lots on here gorgeous got great little root systems on them and as i say it's always best to try and disturb and disturb the roots as much as possible um, when it comes to potting on and um, as i say when i do pot these on i'm going to be keeping them unwatered for a few days until they've acclimatized and settled into their new pots now that's all put into some type of size order i've got the largest ones there and all the little tiny little ones there and i'm going to start off with the larger ones putting them into these seed trays and some of the smaller ones i'll probably put into um a few pots all together and I'm just going to start off doing one or two as an example just to show you. I'll just move that the tripod around a little bit there so you get a bit more to see and um, and then I'll show you the uh, the finished result because it could go on for a long time otherwise and um, start off with the the biggie ones here. Now what I've done is I've got these seed trays and I've made up a mix of Johnin's um, compost number two and I've, it's a loam based soil and I've used extra perlite and extra sand for drainage, but you can use either grit as well. Um, it's just to give it a bit of extra aeration, a bit of drainage, which cacti and succulents do like. And um, links up above to a video on how to make your own cactus and succulent plant compost. Um, and this is the, the mix I like to use. As in this case, I would normally be using grit, but because I couldn't get hold of any, I've substituted it with perlite. But Either way, um, it's entirely up to you. The most important thing is that the soil is well draining. I'm going to start off with this one first. Little uh, in there, push it in like so. And uh, just sort of the other pot around. And that's the first one done. Second one done. Little hole in there, push it down gently. Uh -huh. okay. that's it and I'll show you the probably the third one before I uh, show you then the finished results again gently pressing down in there it's all around it gently pressing down like so now guys that's them all potted up individually into their little tiny little plant cells there and some of the ones that are still very tiny and have little tiny roots I've put into bigger seed trays as there I've separated the very small ones into another seed tray and the ones that are still quite small that only got a small roots into a bigger seed tray and, and obviously got plenty of space for them and the bigger ones are all individually potted up and obviously over the um, the next few weeks and months they're going to be then potted on into bigger pots again and um, we're going to have a bit of a trichocereus um, scopa cola times pachanoi plantation going on here guys <laughs> so guys i hope you enjoyed the video i want to send you loads of love heaps of happiness and tons and tons of cactus power as always from ireland until the next video guys bye